hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our pickup and inventory system first thing first we need the pickup system for our game we want the player to pick up any rifle so in order to do that first of all we need all of the rifles the handgun shotgun the bazooka and the uz somewhere right here in the environment so if we change into scene view okay then let's expand the player and let me disable the bazooka okay because now the player don't have any rifle okay now we need the rifles right here in the environment you can create a shop for your game if you want okay just like in many gta games there is a weapon shop okay but for now we don't have any weapon shop so we will just simply leave the weapons right here on the ground so if we get inside the guns then prefabs then gun models right here as you can see we have all of the weapons so what we will do is first of all right here in the hierarchy let's create our empty game object by the name of weapon shop and as you can see it is right here okay now inside this weapon shop what we will do we will right click then we will create another empty game object by the name of weapon one and inside this weapon one we will add our handgun so drag and drop the handgun from there right here as you can see then click on prefab and then unpack completely and now we have the gun right here now what we will do with it is that we will rotate it on the y-axis so let's make the y-axis value 90 as you can see there is the handgun now let's drag and drop this handgun again in the weapon shop because we want to show the visual representation to the player okay of two handguns so that the player will know if he picks this gun then the player will have two handguns okay so add the other gun then let's click on prefab unpack completely then let's rotate this on the y-axis as well this time the value will be minus 90 so that it is on this other side like that okay if we zoom in it as you can see it looks really beautiful like this okay now once you have added both of the guns then click on this weapon and then add a component from right here and that component will be this light component okay and as you can see there is now some lightning around this weapon one now let's change the range of this light to one okay now as you can see we can't see it let's change the color of it to a little bit light blue color or sky blue if you want and you can name this whatever you want let's change the mode to back the intensity and the indirect multiplier the shadow type will be the same right here we will click this draw hello thing okay now as you can see there is a circular light around our weapon as you can see okay we can see both of our guns right there so you can make the presentation of the weapons as you want but i will leave this like this okay and let me select both of the guns and let me move it a little bit to this side okay so that's it is fully inside the light okay as you can see this gun is outside of the light so let me place it right there now if you see it from the front okay as you can see it looks good like this you can actually increase the intensity or actually the range of it if you want like this okay but i will now leave this as 1.2 so once you do this now it is time to add the other rifles as well so what we will do we will simply duplicate this one and let's move it to this side okay a little bit away from the, that one okay right here and let's rename this first of all to weapon 2 let me remove both of the guns and now inside this weapon 2 
we will simply drag and drop the shotgun like that okay and once you do that let me make this value okay let's leave this as minus 90 and then let's click on this one let's make this 90 and let's make this value fully 90 okay so minus 90 90 90 your values can be different from mine okay but if you are following me and you are placing the weapons right here then maybe your values will be similar to mine okay so once you add the shotgun let's click on prefab unpack completely now we have the shotgun right here if you want you can increase the range of the light to cover all of the shotgun okay so okay i will uh, i will leave this as two okay now after this shotgun now let's add the weapon three okay so we will name this as weapon three and then let's actually first of all move it a little bit to that side okay and now for the weapon three we will add the uz so let me drag and drop the uz in there okay and now what we will do we will actually see the rotation of the handgun so as you can see it is 90 and the other values are 0 so let's make the value 0 and this one is 90 but the UZ rotation is messed up I don't know for what reason so we will have to make this manually okay so I have fixed it a little bit as you can see okay you can fix this according to your own game okay so now I think it looks good like this but now I will just simply change these values to something accurate for example let's make this minus 90 and let's make this whole value as 120 okay and let's do this one as minus 70 okay so as you can see it looks good like this on these values now what we will do we will simply click on prefab unpack completely now let's duplicate this again okay and now let's change the facing of this other one so if we do this as you can see it messed up again but we will fix it don't worry here it is let me actually deactivate the other one for now and focus on this one okay so as you can see it looks good like this maybe but we need to move this a little bit away from this this one okay this first one so let's move this first one somewhere right there and this one a little bit forward okay let me check it let's move it a little bit closer okay right there then let's move this one closer to this i think it looks good like this now you know how to position them correctly okay so you can do that by your own self but as you can see now we have added the uses as well now after this weapon 3 let's add the weapon 4 so we will say weapon 4 okay let's move this weapon 4 right there let's make the range as 2 then let's remove both of the handguns from there and now this weapon 4 is as you know is for the bazooka so we will simply try and drop that in there and as you can see it is set up already we need to just click on prefab unpack completely and let's make this as 2.5 okay 5 will be good for this so now you can see that all of the weapons are now added and ready to be picked up so we have the weapon shop now in the next video we will allow the player to pick up these rifles and then according to each rifle we will 
cut the money from the player okay or you can say basically we will add the money system in our game as well so with this turn catch you guys in the next one